Welcome to Connect the Watts. My name is Colin Jenkins, and today, today we are going to unbox the Levels Continuous Glucose Monitoring Kit and install it into our arm so that we can track our glucose levels in real time. I'm really excited and honestly a little bit scared about this whole process. So I wanna share it with you. So for those of you who are interested in a continuous glucose monitoring system, you know exactly what to expect. So let's open it up. So just paper, here's what it looks like. When you get it, it comes with two different sensors. Each one lasts 14 days. The whole kit is supposed to last a month. This part, I believe, is just from the pharmacy. So that's what that's for. This is the box with the insert that we're gonna be putting right into our arm. And it's going to allow us to monitor our glucose levels in real time throughout the month. And I'm a diabetic or pre-diabetic, so why would I be interested in doing something like this? Well, this isn't actually for people with diabetes or pre-diabetes. It's actually for people who are interested in optimizing their health and fitness. And being able to monitor your blood glucose in real time should give us some really good insights about what's going to work with me specifically, because different people respond to different foods. And so I'm gonna be very curious about how I respond to the foods I eat and how all of that affects my energy levels, performance, and just general blood work. So this should give me some really valuable data and insight on what I can do to better optimize my health. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and insert it and just get it going. I got an email earlier with two apps that I did have to install on my phone. One app is so it can read the monitor. I believe you need to do that several times throughout the day because it only holds eight hours of information. So you don't really wanna let eight hours go by before getting that information from your phone, which is why they suggest like right before you go to sleep and right when you wake up that you should get that data. Um, so it comes with this little pod thing and this little pod thing, which I think is the insert and it comes with instructions, but who needs those? But let's see if I did it right when you're inserting something in your body. I'm just kidding. I watched a whole video on this earlier. Trust me, I'm very worried about this. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Alcohol wipes, that would be probably a good idea so that I don't uh, infect myself. They said to find your jiggliest area kind of in your upper arm. You don't want to get too much muscle, they say, but whatever. We'll just see what happens. I'm sure I can't mess it up too bad. But who needs those? Hopefully. I'm gonna just do it twice, I might as well get extra clean and just no infections. That would be pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna open this little part up and this part I believe I uncap from the top. Okay, and these should line up. Um, yeah, like that. I think you press down hard. Okay, that worked. Uh, and then I take this off and then I got this thing. I don't know if you can see that little needle. Uh, it looks a little scary, but evidently it's not supposed to hurt. So hopefully it don't screw this up. And then I think you just whack yourself in the arm. If I mess this up, let me check it a good spot. <sighs> All right, here we go. One, wait, I don't know, is that a good spot? One, two, Ah! I'm just kidding. Uh, it was did not hurt, but let's see if I did it right. Okay, I think it seems injected. It seems like it's on my arm. Um, doesn't hurt at all. I don't really feel it, so that is good. It doesn't, here we go. These things. I'm supposed to put this on it so that it doesn't get snagged on anything. Um, but let's just do that here. So after we get this thing on, we're gonna connect it to the app. And once it's connected to the app, it should take about an hour for us to get our first reading. All right, we got that on there, that's pretty cool. You know, I feel it a little bit in my arm, but I think that's more the adhesion than anything. We're gonna look at the phone and we're going to see if we can connect this thing. Let's see. All right, scan is complete. Uh, sensor is going to be ready at 159. Could you, Could you try again? It says the sensor will be ready in 60 minutes, so I'm gonna go wait until then and be right back. 
All right, it's been a little over an hour. And so let me pull this up. Basically the app now allows me to check my glucose. So I just kind of put it right here. It vibrates, scan complete. My uh, glucose has been slowly raising over the past like 20 minutes since I ate a, a sandwich. Um, and then it connects to the levels app, which kind of graphs everything out and gives you information. And like I mentioned, it's gonna be really interesting and I'm excited to learn as much as I can during this month that I have this tracking device in and how everything in my life, whether it's nutrition, sleep, workouts, how that all relates to my glucose levels. After that month, they should give me a full report that breaks down all of the data into more detail. So once I finish the month and get that report, I'll start putting together my full review for the level continuous glucose monitoring system. I'm hoping for the best and to learn a lot from this really unique device. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications whenever I put out a new review, including the review on this monitor. Thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.